Hey guys, it's uh, Kyle the Scientist here again. Um, I just wanted to do a quick uh, video on how to make custom items, but I realized that I need to also kind of review how to get uh, Virtual Studio set up and stuff because some things have changed between the time that I last made a video and now um, regarding uh, Visual Studio and uh, Enter the Gungeon and Mod the Gungeon and all that. Um, so Visual Studio 2019 came out and the, the installer is different and stuff so I thought I'd go through this uh, where everything that you're gonna need to get going with 2019 so it's gonna ask you which one of these you want you're gonna go dotnet desktop development individual components make sure you have uh, 3.5 development tools at the very least uh, language packs blah 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 you choose your installation location and then uh, just install it down here Okay, so once you have that all set up, the next thing you want to do is crack open uh, Visual Studio 2019, uh, create a new project. So click on class library .NET framework. Uh, if you don't have it, then you can install it. I think if you scroll down to the bottom, there's a install more tools and features, but you should have it if you check the right things inside the um, installer. Uh, so yeah, then we go to next. We're gonna call this, we'll call it custom items tutorial because that's what I'm doing and we're gonna check uh, .NET Framework 3.5 down here in the bottom uh, okay so we'll hit create and here's our project I'm gonna rename this to itemsmod.cs and we need to add our dependencies which uh, hopefully you guys remember how to do that from the last one but we have uh, monomod.runtimedetour that's from video 3 monomod.utils is from video 3 as well. Uh, we've got, now we have unityengine.coremodule and uh, coremodule.base.mm and also uh, assembly.c-csharp and assembly-csharp.base.mm.dll. Uh, so all the MMs are going to come from your modded version of the game and the regular ones are going to come from the unmodded ones. Monomod comes from the Monomod uh, GitHub repository, so you can watch that video three on how to do that one. And then um, we also need image conversion module.dll. This is an unmodded file as well, just like uh, core module and assembly sharp dash C sharp. So get that from the unmodded version of the game. Um, it should be in manage just like everything else. Okay, so now we have our dependency set up. We can start setting up our mod. So we'll extend EGG module as always. Now we have our uh, mod sort of template, base template going on. Um, and now we need to download the um, custom items API that I made for you guys. So you can go to my GitHub, uh, I'll leave the link in the description as always. Um, and we need to get these files from the GitHub repository. So you can just click on download up here in the top right, this green button, and then once you've uh, you know create gotten the files, you can go ahead and create a new folder inside your project called Item API, and then just throw all the files in there that I uh, specified in the GitHub repository. So I think uh, go to source, uh, and then grab these three files, and also grab the files inside of uh, Fake Prefab. So once you've got all that set up, you're ready to start making an item. So first thing we need to do is uh, create a new class. I'm gonna go to add and then class. Uh, we're gonna call it. Uh, we're gonna call this passive item muscles because I made a sprite prior to this that looks like a, uh, a muscly arm, uh, and we're going to extend passive item. Once we've set that up, we need to create an init function, which will be what we use to set up all the um, internals of the item. So actually what you should do is go into the uh, repository that you downloaded and add the example items, an example active and an example passive uh, from there. So we'll do the example passive. We'll just grab this whole init function right here and copy that into our uh, muscles.cs um, and then we'll just go ahead and clear out all the irrelevant stuff from that other item so I'll be right back after doing that okay so I've erased all the 
um, example passive specific stuff and just left everything blank um, so that we can fill in the template ourselves. Um, we also need to add some imports here, uh, such as the Unity Engine and I think the Item API imports, um, so that we can get those errors to go away. And now we just populate this template with our item stuff. So uh, we're going to call this one Muscles. That's what we decided. So we're also going to add a resources folder over here. Um, just, you know, add a new folder. And then uh, inside here we're going to add an existing item and the existing item that we're going to add is going to be your item sprite. So just make a sprite. It should be like around 20 by 20 um, and plop it into your resources folder. It doesn't actually have to go in here, but for you know neatness' sake, we're gonna we're gonna put it inside the resources folder. Um, so then all we have to do is copy our namespace and then do a slash, do resources, and then arm.png. So that's the path to the sprite. Also, uh, you're gonna want to click on the image itself and go down here to build action and instead of content set it to embedded resource you have to embed the resources or else the uh, item builder won't be able to access the image um, okay so uh, we're actually gonna instead of uh, extending or adding a component that is a passive item to the thing because our muscles item or our muscles class extends passive item already we can just extend muscles because uh, we might want to do some of our own stuff with the uh, overridable methods and stuff that you can get from the passive item class. Uh, okay, so then you're gonna want to do item builder .add sprite to object. Just put the item name, the resource name, and then the object that you want to make the sprite for, um, and that'll set up the sprites. And then we're gonna want to uh, add a short description. So I've added, uh, do you even lift, bro? as my short description and for my long description uh, I've just come up with something yeah, absolutely idiotic um, okay so there's our short description there's our long description this is what's gonna be used in the Ammonomicon when, when you open it up and also this is gonna be used uh, when you pick up the item I think yeah so then we're gonna set up the item this is gonna add it to the uh, I think it I think this just adds it to the Ammonomicon adds it to the item pool so that people can get it from chest and stuff and does all the rest of the setup that you need for the item to act like a normal Gungeon item. So uh, for setup item you just pass in the item object, you pass in the short description, the long description, and then the uh, namespace that you want your item to be in. I put KTS for mine because I'm Kyle the Scientist, but when you make items you want, might want to put something else, so you could just put uh, your initials or something in there I'm just gonna put example and so that'll be the namespace that your item gets it gets put in uh, we just use those so that there's no conflicts between items that have the same name for an item um, because two people could name their item muscles and we wouldn't know which one was which so down here you have the option to add a passive stat modifier to your item so this is something that just happens when you pick up the item, basically, like uh, this one specifically is going to double our damage. Um, so you pass in the item, you pass in the stat, pass in the amount you want to modify it by, so this is going to double our damage, and then you can decide whether you want it to be multiplicative or additive. So if it was additive, instead of doubling our damage, it would just add two to our base damage. Um, but we're doubling damage because, you know, why not? And item quality, this can be whatever you want. Just set it to item quality, pick up object dot item quality dot something. It can be A, B, C, con D, common, excluded, S, special. I don't even know what half of those do. I'm pretty sure this one just means that it doesn't show up in the Ammonomicon or something. Um, but we're just going to set this to be an S rank, because why not? Um, and yeah, so that should that is all you need to have for, for a custom passive item. Like, you know, well... This is all you need to have for a custom passive item. So all everything except for this line is necessary to have your item work. But you can go further. Um, since we're extending the passive item class um, and we're applying this muscles to our object, we can change some other things. If you type in override and then just hit space, 
Um, it'll show you all of the methods from passive item that you can uh, override. Um, some of the most important ones are pickup, drop, and update. Uh, are some pretty like regular ones that you might want to uh, use for your mods. Uh, we're not actually gonna do anything with update right now because we don't need to but that just is just something that gets called like once every frame I think um, so you can keep like tabs on stuff with that um, so in my pickup method I just uh, said something like it's muscle time and in the drop method I just said it's not muscle time that's just gonna get printed to the console when we uh, pick up and drop the item um, and that should be it. That should work, I think. So we're gonna go over to the um, items module, the items mod module, or whatever, and we're going to uh, just in start do a couple of uh, boilerplate like things that you have to do to get the thing to work. So we need these two lines right here. Um, <laughs> there's a little bit of there's some typos going on in there. Uh, we need to, in this one, have our using item API as well. So once we got these things, these are just like to set up the, the item builder and to get the fake prefab thing working. Um, you don't have to worry about what that means, but it's important that you have those two lines there. And then you just want to call muscles.init or whatever your um, you know item is called. And that should do it. So I'm just going to add in, uh, an extra log line there just so we know that it's been initialized. And then we're gonna go set up the um, the mod. I'll be right back. Okay, so I uh, was setting up the you know the, the mod folder, and uh, I realized that I forgot in the first video to tell you guys, or I think it was the second video, to tell you guys that you can use uh, Windows Sim Links in order to um, link two files on your computer together. So that way you don't have to keep dragging you know your uh, DLL from one folder to the other every time you want to update your mod. So I thought I'd show you guys how to do that. Um, just go to the you know the search bar, um, open up command prompt, run it as an, as an administrator. So then you're gonna want to type uh, make link, open quotes, grab the path from uh, you know the file explorer, um, do another backslash and then add custom items tutorial.dll or whatever your DLL is. Um, close quotes, open quotes after that with a space in between, and then copy the um, the other one in there, custom items tutorial.dll. So basically you're just going to want to put to first, so like where you're placing it, and then from second, and make link before that, hit enter, and now uh, those two files are linked. So now we have this one is actually this one. Just uh, thought you might want to know that. Okay, so uh, here I am in the game. Um, as you can see, our muscles mod was initialized. Um, if we go into the Ammonomicon, boop, go down to items, scroll all the way down to the bottom, uh, you'll see that right around here is uh, an unknown item, I guess. We have to pick it up first, so let's do that. Uh, give muscles. Oh yeah, I gotta put example, colon muscles. It's muscle time, because we picked it up. And there it is in our inventory. Muscles. <laughs> it's not really bad sprite. Doubles your damage and gives everyone around you two tickets to the gun show. Alright, so there we go. Uh, you can see over here our damage is doubled. We have the item. Um, if we were to drop it, it would say the thing, but I guess I'd have to go into the gungeon for that, so screw that. And yeah, so that's how you make a custom passive item. Custom active items are very similar. I'll do a, another video about that uh, later, I guess, because this video is already way too long. So yeah. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that video, uh, you know, like and subscribe if you want to, I'm not going to make you, but you could, uh, <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next one.